You ever just want to make a list of five people that are probably going to hate you in the future? <laughs> that's what I think this video is because that's what Mikey did. And then he tagged us like we want to hate him and ourselves all in the same day. I don't hate you, Mike. I don't hate you. Uh, but mean... when when I seen the title of your video, my top ten games or my top I, I can't remember what it was it top ten ultimate games or yeah, something like that. Whatever the title like was, it pop it up here. I don't know. Anyway, this is probably what two three weeks ago the, yeah. the video came out. Yeah. And I told him we had a busy October, and I said I will get to it first of November. When I was starting to watch it, and he started to talk about nominating, I said fuck. <laughs> 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 I want to nominate fuck fuck and then and then I said double fuck because he didn't just nominate us in as as a channel he nominated <laughs> us as individuals so we both have to do this which I appreciate because she thought she was getting out of it yeah I was like Scott will do it on behalf of Retro Rivals it'll be a great time <laughs> no, it'll be a great no, time no. you know what I actually went back and watched because one of our first videos was mm -hmm. me and Alex we did a top ten together mm -hmm. So I did a top five, right? Yeah, and has it changed a lot? Those top five are actually still in my top ten list. Wow. But there are three games that I wanted to put in the top ten. And but they just didn't they make didn't the They didn't make it, and it's fucking hard. Okay. So I think it's safe to say that we're going to start with your top... No, we're going to nominate. We're going to do it the no, same way No, but we're going to start... This is going to be your video. We can't make this one... <laughs> video it needs to be two separate videos because we yeah. have to tag five people each. Plus we get two videos out of it. We get two videos out of it and in a fun way we'll work our way into three videos of it on YouTube and you'll find out right now why that is. Scott, who are your five tags? I don't remember. Roll them down. You left the list over there. <laughs> I did it! It's oh, right here! Okay. Part of the conditions of this whole challenge is that Mikey wants us to all to tag five people. Yeah. He didn't say channels, he said five people. people. So, let's just jump right into it. So, uh, five people that might hate me after this. Mr. Retro Ghetto. <laughs> I'm interested. I, I put on this list people I want to see. I want to see their top ten. Yeah. So, next one on the list, I've been watching a lot of lately. Sega Head. Sega Head. I'm, like, so excited for you to just, like, bleep words all at the front. Just... <laughs> Tons of bleep words because we asked you to do this and you might not enjoy it, and that'll be fun for me. This one here is how we're going to get a third video out of this series, and you guys will be sick of it by then. But we're putting Dennis in here. Yeah. Dennis is going to have to pony up there and figure out his top ten. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't know it yet. My next one is Drinks and Games with Josh. Yep. So hopefully, hopefully he catch. Well, we're gonna tag everybody. I'm assuming he has all the social media oh, yeah, yeah. everything there. We'll find you guys. You know, I'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, I want to see lightsaber samurai's top ten list because me and him like a lot of the same you games. Do. You so, guys do. And I take a lot of my recommendations from his you channel. Do. Oh. So right. Scott oh. actually, I don't feel like Mikey put his in order of one to ten. But I, I did. Scott did, and I, I don't know that. if I'm gonna do that because do I don't. It. It's not. Do it. Do it. I don't know if I want to. Okay. Do it. Do it. All right. I just wanted, real quick, there's three games I really wanted to put in the top ten. They didn't mm -hmm. make it. I'm going to name them off right now, and you're going to say, well, what in the fuck made it past these games? And then you probably will be pissed off at some point during the list. My judgment of, my the right. judgment. First one. I really wanted to get God of War 3 in there. If you haven't but seen the rant video, go back and check it out. <laughs> we'll put a link right here. Right here. Right over so, here. Right over right this. Right over that. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's She'll just... probably put it over my face. <laughs> this was the God of War that got me into God of War. Yes. So now I've been trying to go back and play them all. This one here, I know well, there will be some judgment, but... That was my judgment. Jackal. <laughs> I wanted this one in. I wanted it bad, but when I'm looking at... I laid them all out in order and picked, you know... The, the, the order I wanted them in, and mm -hmm. I just I couldn't put it past it any of the other there. ones. Yeah. This one here, you yeah you'll be pissed off here, but I wanted uh, Zelda: Link to the Past. It uh, that's the that's my favorite Zelda. I haven't played a lot of them. I want to say I want to say three off the top of my head, there maybe four. Yeah. This is my favorite Zelda, and this is the one that Jen's got to play first. This should be Jen's first Zelda game. Okay. 
And I think Dennis has said the exact same thing. Yes, and everybody in the comments will tell you the same thing too. First, we'll go number 10. Number 10. Number 10 is Double Dragon 2 on the NES. Mm -hmm. I do not have a complete copy, but it would have been awesome to have a complete copy. It would have. I just have never seen one around town. Yes. This is my favorite NES game. Yep. I, I went, when I say I own this game, I fucking owned this game when I was a kid. And yes, we heard this before, but um, I, I can't beat it on Supreme Warrior, Warrior. now. I, I, have to put more time into it and I will at the start of the next year. I would like to just beat that game period. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, but I did good. I did play I did play Double Dragon a lot when I was younger. Yeah. Yeah, we me now, and Tony would play it all. I don't want to use the tricks to beat it there. There's tricks you can do to beat yeah. it where you can go two player where you're a one player uh, uh, one of the modes and then I can beat up the second player and you basically steal their lives. And I don't want to do that. Oh, I want to beat yeah. it legit because legit. I used to. And what really made me remember this one, um, wanting to beat it, was uh, Captain Algebra did a challenge. Yeah. Uh, I think it was a no death challenge. And I said, you know, 30 years ago or so, I could have did that. No problem. I can't mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Next one on the list, number nine, we have Wrestling Smackdown. Shut your mouth. This one here, I've had a ton of good like parties with, yep. right? Like we, I say we, but you weren't playing oh, back then. That kills me. Yeah. I wish I could go back in time and tell. Well, I I'd still be have like, the game. Dish, dish. No, game. I would love to go back in time and play the game with you guys all then. It would <laughs> this, have been so much fun. This one's a, a one to six player. Yeah. We'd slap the multi-tap in there and then we used to have, I used to have more than six guys come over and we'd all be drinking and cursing and mm -hmm. swearing and beating the hell out of each other. And, and then there's always, there's always a couple of guys there. I was one of them there. Me and Pat were usually like top tier, you know. Yeah. So what we would do to make it more challenging sometimes would be random, randomize our guys, and then the other guys, everybody else would team up on us. I feel like they're you guys took vacation the same week one year. Oh yeah. Made too many steaks on the barbecue. Okay, yeah, we had like meat coma. Meat coma, <laughs> and pl just played this all week long. Oh yeah. I know you oh, guys yeah. did. It was a, crazy. We played the hell out of that. I had a memory card full of made wrestlers. Was... Number eight. Streets of Rage 2. Yeah. Great game. I've played this I, one. I, I, I have to say this is my favorite Streets of Rage, even though I've probably said it on a live stream before that I because I, I was into Streets of Rage 1 mm -hmm. more at the time. I will put this in at least a couple times a year to play, but I played it so many times that I didn't own number one when I was a kid that I actually I actually started playing number one more recently. Because yeah. It's a little different, right? Uh, but now, but once I put this one in here, this one is definitely better. That was the same, the same thing. I would go through it, beat it with all the characters. Yeah. On the hardest level you can put it on. It's a fantastic game. Another game that you should play. I have played you, Streets of Rage 2 and the first one well, as well. Well, you played 4. Yeah, I played it to never, 4. I you, haven't played that you one. You haven't made it to the end. No. If I, you don't make it to the end, you haven't played it. I have played it. I just haven't completed it. This one here was not on my... That one was on my top five. Okay. This next one wasn't. No? And Should I take a drink or do you want to go and spit it up? We got Spider-Man mm -hmm. on the PS4. This game blew me away when it first came out. Oh, I yeah. I just couldn't get over how smooth the combat was. Oh, yeah. The, the graphics were blowing me you away. You could just swing around New York City and yeah, be like, It was Holy fun shit. just to swing around the city and, like, Doing the stupid. I'm not one for doing side missions and stuff, like side quests. Yeah, I know. But I did a ton of them. I, I almost got to a point where I was like, oh, I'm going to platinum this game, but I just kind of fell off. Do you wish you would have? No, no. I don't, I'm not a trophy hunter. I'm not a trophy hunter no. either. I played it for as long as I, I enjoyed it, and I didn't want to overstay it Stay welcome because I'll this will be a game that I'll put back in. And well, play. that's the thing, too. I wonder if people that are trophy hunters, if that ruins some of that experience for them. Would it uh, sour something for you if you know. feel like you have to, and then you're on that one spot? Where I'm you're not like, a trophy Fuck hunter, so I can't. I can't. You can't speak comment. to it. Yeah. But every game that's on this list is a game that I have played multiple times, or I'm going to play multiple yeah. times. I think. What did I tell you before? There was a like a criteria I had of like it had to have left a really lasting impression on me. Mm -hmm. 
I had to have put a ton of hours into it. Yeah. And I have to play it more than once, like yes. multiple times. That's how the, these games kind of make my top. Or, or if you haven't played it multiple times, you would play it multiple times. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nobody's gonna be surprised by this one. Mm -mm. We got The Last of Us. I'm surprised where it ranked. So yeah, number six, I got The Last of Us. Mm. And I have the PS3 version because that's the version I played. Yes. And it's the only version I played. I never played the remastered version. You no. played the remastered. I did. Yep. This game kind of got me really back into gaming. It did. It got was, us both was, into gaming. Yeah, game. I was starting to get back into it and I was just starting to collect. I was collecting a lot of like uh, retro stuff, like more like uh, Genesis and NES, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And uh, Dennis convinced me I had to play this. I oh, had I'm to so get a happy PS3. He did. I played this. PS4 was already out. Yes. By the time we got, I got a broken PS3, and we we got a digital copy of it. And yeah. Played it on that. I know. So I, I just I fixed the machine and played it. And, I could still oh. like remember us sitting up on the old couch playing that. Yeah. And going, oh my god. Oh yeah, she used to bug me every night. To play like, it there. <laughs> <laughs> just a like, phenomenal. Like I can't. I only have two hours. We'll play for an hour. Phenomenal and 45 minutes. game. It is. It is. So I, that's number six. That's on. I would assume that's on most people's top ten. I think it is. I think it is. Number five oh, wow. is Castlevania Symphony mm, of the Night. I love uh, this game. This game is awesome. It, so much so that you can delete your save file and play it twice. Yeah, Jen. Yeah, it's fun yeah. time. Music is awesome. Oh, everything. God. Like, if there's ten out of ten games there, this definitely falls in that ten out of ten. Oh yeah. You know? Like a lot of the ones on my list, I consider ten out of ten, 10, out of 10 for me. Yeah. But I think a lot of people would consider this the best Castlevania mm -hmm. game. So. There's not much more I can say about Castlevania Symphony of the Night that already hasn't been said by like yeah. a million YouTubers. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Yeah, I think this next one may surprise people that it made it yeah. into my top it might. and be as high as it is. Yeah, true. <laughs> so at number four, I have Astral Chain on the uh, Switch. Yeah. Um. I just kind of played it on a recommendation from level 857 there and it was blown away. It was completely different. Like the fact that you're controlling your character yeah. and a legion. And on it your was chain. kind of trippy to it was trippy at first, figure out at first. But the music and the story there just sucked me in. The music is phenomenal. Oh, there. yeah. It's just awesome. This game, I would recommend, highly recommend anybody there. They should try this game. Am I anybody? You should try this game. Find anybody. Yeah, absolutely. How come you haven't played this game yet? <sighs> so much work, so little time. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. This one's going to piss people off. I know it is. <laughs> so at number three on my list, and I didn't cop out and put them together, but it's Last of I Us really 2. I really wanted to. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that. Last no. of Us 2. Now, when it, part of my criteria of it had to leave a lasting impression is like, this game, like, oh, was heavy. Ruined us. Was heavy, heavy, heavy at moments there. And, like, the gameplay is amazing. Yeah. And I know a lot of people don't like it because of what happens during the story early on. Mm -hmm. But, and we didn't like it either at first. Oh, fuck no. But we pushed through. And if, at the end of it, we actually, we, we had to leave the house and go for a walk just to kind of, like, uh, yeah. Just absorb it early. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was. It left a lasting impression. Yeah, on me. I think. I think to anybody, I want to say to anybody that's hesitant to play this game or hasn't played past that pivotal moment, please understand it's just a game. I I'm up as upset as you are. However, yeah. if a game can make you feel like that, holy shit! It's doing something right. It's doing something yeah. right. So. I just, I think everybody needs to play past that point and then make their <clears> own judgment and don't listen to other people. Follow your own heart on a game. Right, this is my video. Thing. I know, but shh, shh, shh. I love Zip it. it too. Zip it. Number two on the list is Skies of Arcadia. It's not number one, and I'm surprised it was that high to begin with. Right? I, I really am, and I don't even know what number one is. I can't remember. This is my oh, first turn-based RPG that I ever played. It took me about 75 hours to play through it, which is probably 20 hours longer than it should have. <laughs> But I did enjoy every minute of it. And we were just going down that damn slide in the jungle too many times. <laughs> There's, 
I like for me like if it has a good story and that music the music is like a 10 out of 10 in this mm -hmm. game the music is absolutely phenomenal um, this is what actually I, I say it now this is what got me into RPGs yeah. because I'm actually starting more and more now and I have plans to play a lot yeah. more I wish I could and go I back think I think uh, the year 2022 for me be will be the year of RPG. I wish we oh. could go back in our, all of our old videos, but I'm not doing that. So don't expect it to pop up here, here, or here, or here, anywhere in this video. And just do a tally of how many times he said, I don't like turn-based RPGs. I don't like turn-based. I turn said it. I said it like, but I actually, I was like, but I always had it in my head there. I got to play through one. I got to play yes. through one. And then I just set my mind to it. I, I have to play. Uh, it was more about learning mm -hmm. how to play an RPG yeah. yeah, turn-based because there's strategies involved. There is strategy. I don't look like much of a strategy guy, and it's because I'm not. <laughs> you have a lot more patience for those type of games than I thought you did. Me too. Yep. <laughs> Last one and number one on the list is probably not going to surprise a whole lot. Yeah, of people. I don't know why I thought forgot this for a second. I'm like, oh yeah, duh. Parasite Eve. Yeah. The cinematic RPG. Ooh. The people, you know, depends who you talk to. People consider it, it's an RPG of sorts, but it's not like a turn based. It's it's it's, it's got a weird mechanic. Turn based. It kind of. It's kind of ish. Yeah. yeah. Definitely not the same. It's more of, more of an action can RPG. This, can this video just get a million views and then we just get a remake, please? Because that would only make Scott's day forever. That would make me the happiest guy ever if we got a remake. Oh there. my god, eh? But saying that, I would be afraid they would fuck it up. You'd be afraid to play it. And right. I think Captain Algebra said that before. He yeah. likes his old games, but he's afraid that if they remake, yeah. they'll fuck them up. I think he said that to us, and I, I totally and completely understand that. Bought this one on a whim. It was in the uh, bargain bin at Walmart. Mm -hmm. It wasn't actually this copy. I had to go. No. Mine was a greatest his copy. I think I bought it for ten bucks. I had a PS2 at the time. Yeah. And I just started playing it one day when you were at work, and I was like, "Holy shit!" And then I think I had to wait yes. for you to get home to actually play. And we both said, "You you watched." Yeah. We actually went out and bought the strategy guide, and we figured out. Uh, because you can make or uh, you can put in, I think it's like 300 pieces of junk. Yeah. To make like a, this badass gun there. Mm -hmm. And then when you play through your game, you right at the end, you can name that weapon and you can carry it over into your next play. And I think you just keep upgrading it. Do you it, know, do you it. remember what you named it? Or did we get the 300 pieces? Boomstick. The boomstick, yeah. Evil Dead reference right yeah, there. Yeah, that totally makes sense. But yeah, I played this one. We played it back in what, 2001. Yeah. We played it again last year. I said it was 20 years later. 20 years later. And I still love it. 20 years later. There's 20 years in and between the plays. And you still love me. I know. I'm shocked. <laughs> 20 years later. <laughs> I think the game holds up better, though. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But yeah, I will probably play this in 20 more years. I will play it a few more times. Oh, definitely. 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 But yeah. Or the remake. It's not an overly long game either. No, but it is an expensive game. So, Mikey, I hope you're happy. You stressed me out a little bit. A little but bit. I got the top 10 out. I honestly think I could probably do a top 10 every year. I don't think I'd want to. And it would change and slightly. I would definitely think it might change slightly. And if it doesn't change at all, then I probably didn't play that many good games. Yeah. But now where I'm getting into the RPG. Like Dennis said, oh, Scott, it's a whole new world for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As he told me there one day, it's a whole new world for you. You can yeah. get into everything now. <laughs> There's a and, lot of games that are, like, really good that I haven't even touched. Oh, yeah. And yeah. we would have loved to have nominated so many other people or said open tag. Well, but Mikey, Mikey Jen, said not open tag, so no it's those five tag, people. Five, yeah. I nominate five, and guess what? She's going to nominate I'm five nom more people. Yep. So. All right. We will see you guys in the next video when I... Suffer. Will that be the next video? I think maybe we should put them back to back. Do you think? I don't care. Okay. Back to back. Back to back. Yeah, maybe we can get Dennis. Maybe. Back to back to back. That sounds weird. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time. Game on.